Hey folks, welcome back to another video here on the Dice Tower. Here I'm with Michael Chennault, and uh, he's one of the designers here at Come On Games. And he's showing us Bloodborne the board game. And I've been told that this is more information than they've given anybody else, yes? So, he's going to show us how it plays. We're going to do a playthrough, he and I. And, uh... I'm going to show off some of the minis. We're going to have some painted miniature pictures that will be popping up here throughout the game. So uh, it should be a good time, right? No, this is going to be absolutely miserable. But uh, the the IP is such such a cheery, happy, go lucky. Oh yeah, and from what I've been told, you've not experienced it yourself no. personally. So we're going to run you through this here. Well, what I know about the Bloodborne IP, I I learned from the card game. <laughs> so. Uh, well, we're just going to jump right into this and just get you right into the thick of things. Okay. Um, yeah, and I'm going to be helping you run through this. Now, no, I love seeing this game played because it is brutally hard and punishing. Playing it myself, it's brutally hard and punishing. I'm more of an observe and like, you know, <laughs> yes, style. So, but again, you're here, Sam, one of my okay. favorite people. So I'm, I'm getting right down here into the thick of things. Board game version of training day. Got it. Yes, okay. exactly. All righty. Here we go. So we're going to jump right in. We have, we're playing the campaign, The Long Hunt. Okay. We're playing chapter one. This is the information we know going in. Is a large number of scourge beasts have descended on central Yarnum and the hunt has been called this night. All right. We must find where these beasts are coming from and put an end to this threat. Sounds simple. So coming in, that's what we know. It's up to us to discover everything else about what is going on and the story as we progress through. Now, to note before we begin, everything you see here is work in progress. That's for development, yeah. rules, art assets, all of that. And actually, this scenario itself, I've specifically modified and changed to be a custom uh, version of not necessarily what's coming in the core box, specifically so we're not giving any spoilers away or anything it. like that. That's good. Because the first playthrough experience and all that and the story is... You know, it's engaging, dynamic, things will change. We want people to make their own Very choices. Good. So we're going right into it. Walk in the park, Kazansky. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I've got my, uh, we've got our hands displayed right here because it's full co-op. So instead of hiding that, we're just gonna have it out. Uh, my first action is I'm gonna go ahead and just discard one of my cards to make a move action because we need to start exploring the map. Okay. The hunt mission that we have says that we need to reveal all tiles and possess at least one insight to progress the story mission, which means we need to do one of these submissions to kind of figure out what's going on. Okay. So. I am playing our Ludwig's Holy Blade Hunter right here. I'm going to take a step over onto this tile. Flip this one we have. We have the Occupied House with an enemy type 1 and an item. So I'm going to need a Hunter Mob. Hunter Mob. And an item right here. It goes right there. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and connect this one right oh, here. Just going right in. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're hunters, okay? <laughs> they should fear us. Oh, okay. And on that same note right here, I'm just going to start a combat here to take this thing down. I'm going to try to clear the way so you can get over the occupied house. Because that okay. is one of our mission objectives yeah, here. Yeah, I, I noticed that, yeah. All right, so noting that they have four health, I did not start uh, on this side here. Well, actually, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just take a hit for us and just try to cleave this thing down in one go. Go for it. So I've got a combo flourish here, which allows me to place down two cards in a single go. Okay. I'm going to play two strength cards, which each give me plus one to my damage, yeah. to just hit this thing in one go. That's good. All right. So, boom, I'm hitting it with a medium attack for four damage. Okay. So we're going to flip over an enemy action card and see what it does. That's this one? Yes. All right. Bam. Hopefully nothing bad will happen here. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is no attack, but we activate the enemy's special ability. So if you would okay. hand me the card right here, I think I might have messed up, Sam. There right, we go. No, it will be fine. Torch burn. Hunter must discard one card or their attack is canceled and they suffer one damage. You don't have any cards to discard, do you? Uh... You know how, you know, when a scientist creates a monster and is kind of surprised <laughs> that they just rebelled against it? Yes, that's what just, so here's what the just thing. happened. We fully knew what this enemy was capable of, yes. and I got and, and you my didn't hubris. Pay attention. Okay, so I'm coming in to attack it with my fat, uh, sorry, my medium attack to deal it a ton of damage, and it, it hits me in the face of a torch. Okay. I don't have any cards to discard, so I just had my attack canceled and I took a damage. You're, you're good at this. This is a good start. You're good. I want to point out, by the way, that we are actually not like setting this up or staging this. No, this is... of course not. Why would we do that? No, I'm, I'm serious. I, I know. Just, okay. I know. No, it's All right. absolutely well, true. I don't have any cards left. My attack just got canceled. So that's it for me. At the end of my turn, I'm going to draw my three cards. Okay. Wait, why did you just uh, replace the, th the take away the three? Because I only have five health and I accidentally gave myself 
uh, oh, too many HP tokens. Thank you. Right, there we go. You're welcome. So I'm at four of my five health remaining. So I'm going to draw my cards, and now all nearby enemies are going to activate. So he's now going to attack me on his turn. Oh. Yeah, it's fun, that's, right? That's great. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead. So you're going to have to finish this guy off. I'm going to hit him with a, okay. a Vitality. Rookie will show you how to show the, the veteran. I'm showing you done. what not to do, okay? This yes, is all perfectly. It's a good examples. I'm going to go a little defensive here. Uh, I'm going to hit him with a basic slash and use a Vitality card to block one of his incoming damage. Okay. Okay. So medium attack, two damage. Let's flip another card here and see what he does. A basic. basic attack. And then we shuffle the deck. Yes. And his basic attack is just a medium attack at two damage. Same speed as mine. I'm blocking one, so I'm going to take a damage, and I'm going to deal him two. <clears throat> so do you have to choose your dodge before he actually attacks? So that is a good, an important thing there, is that I could have chosen to dodge that. But because I was already blocking it, I'm Got only going to deal one damage. I don't want to take up the other slot here, and okay. I don't want to you know use another card here Got to it. start dodging. Okay. I'm just going to take the hit. Got it. But that is actually a good question. But you question blocked right. one. I did block two. one because of the vitality Got card it. that I played down. Basically, my two ways of mitigating damage is I can choose to take the hit and use vitality cards to block damage, or I can try to dodge out of the way. But that takes up more resources. Yeah. All right. So I've shown you what not to do and how to deal with a little damage. Let's. If you want to go explore someplace else or come help me, I mean that's your call. You did good. Thanks. You thanks. did good. That's that's awesome. The moral um, support's important. So this is a cooperative game, right? So mm -hmm. I, I can't just go like, you know, ha ha, sucker. You can, but it's just bad for everyone involved. Yeah, it's bad for everyone involved. But you were telling me before the game that I, I shouldn't try to do the honorable thing, though, right? I said that necessarily if you think it's a good choice, that might not work out the best. Because <laughs> the setting... Kind of like what you just did. Oh, no, no. I made the best possible choices here. I just let my hubris get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so uh, I'm going to... Now, they only have two hit points left, right? Yes. You smacked them for two. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to discard one of these guys uh, to move into right. that area, first of all. So I'll come and save the day. It's kind of like a Obi-Wan Qui-Gon Jinn thing going on here. Um, I'm saving you from that nest of Gundarks. Very so, good. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll hit them with a uh, slash which will actually do more than enough, right? Take the high ground. Yeah, so that's gonna be three damage against them. So then we flip this card over to see what happens. Um, uh, same thing happened. No attack, you activate the ability. So he's gonna try to just torch burn you, but you have a card to discard if you wanna not I get do, that canceled. I do, so I'm gonna go ahead and not have my attack canceled. I learned from your mistake. See, you're a good teacher. See? You're a good teacher. So uh, I score three damage on them. They only have two left, so that takes them out, yeah. Boom, this guy has been slain, and you're gonna get a blood echo from that. All right, Which you that can goes right there. And you can use that later on in the dream to actually level up and get some you know, cooler stuff. Okay. Now, unfortunately, you are going to be done because you're out of actions. So yep. at the end of your turn, you're going to draw your three cards up. All right. Any enemies that are nearby would activate. There aren't any to activate because you luckily killed them all. Yeah, I, I took care of them. And because we've both gone, the round is now done, and the hunt track is going to advance. Advance by one. All right, so and now we go back to your turn. Well, we can actually choose whatever order we want to go okay. in. So uh -huh. noting, though, because I was attacked during my turn, I actually have less resources because I'm still, like, exhausted and a little, mm -hmm. you know, haggard out. But let me go ahead and go, and I will go over here and just occupy this, with the house and start this Interact mission. with it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to spend one to move over to the space, and I'll spend my last one to interact. Okay. And so the, uh, the chapter card over here says that we reveal chapter card number 10 when we reveal, or sorry, interact on the occupied house. Okay. And so this deck is unique to the campaign. It's going to show everything that happens. Okay. So we have missing parents. Through a barred window, a little girl addresses you. Who, who are you? I don't know your voice, but I know that smell. Are you a hunter? Then please, will you look for my mom? Daddy never came back from the hunt, and she went to find him. But she's gone now too, and I'm all alone and scared. My mom wears a red jeweled brooch. It's so big and beautiful, you won't miss it. This so little girl just said we stink? Well, so hunters have a unique smell about them, because we do go and kill a lot of things. Smell of death. Actually, yes. Yes, okay. So this is now going to tell us the next step for this is when a hunter enters the Tome of Odin tile, we're going to discard this and reveal chapter card 11. Okay. So we have an ongoing mission right here to do. <clears throat> All right. The first step of that has been taken. So we're going to go try to find the little girl's parents. Yep. And my turn is done because I have run out of cards. I'm going to draw up. And so you're going to be your turn. Right. So I think what I'll do first is uh, I'll use... 
this card uh, to move. All right. And um, we can't go this way, right? Right. So we got to go no this way or that way. We have this way and we have a door connecting this way. So your choice up or down. All right. I'm going to go over this way. And that will reveal this. And this is an enemy, yeah? Yes. Okay. That's a, that's as one of those scur challenges, right? That's a scur challenge. Oh, boy. And so when we flip a tile, you can connect that any way you want. Um, and then we will looks like there's these are the only two connections? Yes. Okay. So uh, we'll do this. We'll do it like that right there. All right. And I have to go in here, so that's one. Yes. And we are going to put that enemy right there as and well. And I do have a move too, right? Mm -hmm. So I could move in there and attack. Mm -hmm. Or scourge challenges are pretty right nasty. Past him <coughs> here, come back the other way if you want to retreat. Scourge challenges are pretty nasty, so they're nastier than the hunter mobs. Uh, um, I think I'm gonna play it kind of safe. So yeah, look, Mr. Scourge Beast. Don't mind us. We're just you yeah, know, yeah. We're just hi, get, keeping hi, on, keeping on. Hi, puppy. Um, and uh, I can move to more spaces if yep, I want to. You can discard right? as many cards you want to move to every time. Yeah, uh, I think I'll do that. I'm going to do this and we'll move this way. All right. There's, there's not a door over there, right? There or is a, not. Yeah. <clears throat> and so we'll flip this over. This is uh, Yosefka's, Yosefka's clinic. clinic. Is that one of the things? It is. That is. We can interact on that, but unfortunately so. there's also a Scourge Beast button item inside as well. Mm. Sam, I really need you to not like start finding like we're supposed to find cool stuff not a bunch of scourge beasts okay well i mean they they obviously need to be taken care of correct okay well that's true we and you're a veteran so we can handle this we got it the optimism of uh of the new experience we got it no worries at all and so that's one i could move in there but i don't have anything to attack with so uh, can you forego that last movement? Yeah, you could and then you can keep or discard that card and you'll draw back the three The other option you have as well is you could just discard this and uh -huh. return back to the dream uh -huh. Which would let you spin this to an upgrade Yeah, and then also these guys aren't gonna just immediately jump on you because right. right now both these guys are gonna activate move in and attack you Now if you think you can take them I think I can take them. Okay. I mean, All right. Then. I'm just kidding Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and return to the dream. I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, now that will advance the track right here. Yes, which is fine. I mean, it's just time and resources. Exactly. So, we so you have a blood here. echo to spin. So this gets cashed in, and mm -hmm. you can pick any of those upgrade cards to upgrade your deck. Invigorating attack, draw one card, uh, clear one slot. That's another question I had. How do these slots clear? Is that one of the only ways, or what else? So slots clear when the weapon is transformed. You'll clear them and flip the weapon over. Okay. Or if you have a card effect that specifically does that. And how do you transform the weapon? That's an action on your turn to discard a card got and it. flip it over. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so most it. of the endurance cards are going to grant you additional actions, uh, enhance your actions, and a lot of those will be clearing slots to make more attacks. Right. But see, attack deals plus two damage, but suffers negative two. Speed. Speed. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if your, your your baseline Viking nature might click in. And yes, you just want that's, to deal a bunch that's of damage. pretty much what I'm looking at right now. After after attack, heal one for each damage you dealt. Ooh, I think I'll do that one. Actually. Okay. So when you get an upgrade card, it's going to replace any card in your deck. So if you don't like being all fast and dodgy, you can start replacing those with just those. Mm -hmm. You can just however way you want to handle that. So I can, do I have to... It's any card in your deck, you're going to take that. Not in the discard pile? Right. Okay. Basically, when you go to the dream, oh, sorry, when you go to the dream, you're going to take your entire deck, all 12 of your cards. Shuffle them together. Yes. Got it. Got well, it. not necessarily shuffle, because you're going to replace whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. All right. And that's the deck building element of things. All right. Well, I am going right. to get rid of one of my dodges, because I'm just that way. So I went, you went, that's the round. Now we're set. This is going to tick up by one, and we just had a respawn point. Now, I didn't tell you about those before we started. No, a, you specifically said don't pay attention to those because they don't mean anything. Uh, okay, that was a little misdirection. You lied. Misdirection. <laughs> Whenever those points are hit on the hunt track, the world is going to reset. Okay. And what that means is that any enemies are going to heal, you're going to respawn, <coughs> and general bad things but technically the silver lining is it's more so for us to take down okay the issue is that that hunter mob is going to respawn that there comes so i've kind of become a little trapped in this space right here yeah hey you're and fine that specifically happened because you went to the dream and advanced it up early by one 
if you hadn't, then this area would have been clear. So what you're saying is my fault. Well, the trade-off is you didn't get mauled to death by a bunch of scourge beasts. Yes. That's fine, Which is too. a good thing. Uh, it just means I'm a little trapped over here, but hey, co-op, right? You're fine. Okay, so okay, so it's a new round right here. Yeah. Um, I believe you should probably take the lead here, because when you respawn, you're going to come back on one of the lamp spaces. All right. And while we can fight our way to the USF clinic there through the Scourge Beasts, um, I think we just need to reveal more of the map just to get that hunt mission going. Got it. All right, so I'll come over there. I'll explore. Uh, oh, I need to uh, draw my three cards here. Mm -hmm. One, two... So when you respawn, three. it's going to be just like when you're starting out. You're going to have your everything cleared, health maxed, and then your three cards. Got it. All right, so I'm going to take this guy and explore. Move two. So I'll go off. Uh, should we try to connect? Is it good to connect this way? So unfortunately, there's no connection right oh, here. Oh, there isn't. That's but right. if there was, yes, it would be a very good idea. Now, can it, can it happen to where I can put a no connection here? Yes, but okay. we just can't move through there. Can't move through there. There's yeah. some things that might change that, but... Oh, I should have decided... I have to decide which way I want to go first. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'll go uh, this direction here. All right. So... All right, what we'll do is... Now, what does that do? That's that another an, Scourge Beast? That's an enemy type 1, so that's going to be a 100 mob. Oh, that's a 100 mob, okay. And an item in that spot, too. Yeah. So... I think we'll do is this right here. And uh, that puts a Hunter mob out there. And another item token. Um, so I'm in there 1. And also noting as well that enemies don't inhibit your movement in any way, so you mm -hmm. can keep moving past them. It's just that whenever you stop moving, right. the enemies are then going to pursue you equal to their speed. Okay. So like if you you have another movement, so you can move here, but he's going to follow you. Right. So I'll I'll just stay there. Which is actually important for like moving and baiting guys around as well. Because right. for example, if we wanted to get to Yosefka's clinic here, mm -hmm. I could theoretically run a gambit through here, basically aggro and get these guys' attention mm -hmm. and clear the path for you. Got it. Okay, so um, that was my first action. Second action is going to be, I'm going to try to take those dudes out before they can do something to me. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to attack, but I'm going to do a charged swing. All right. Which will do four damage as long as it hits. But it is a slow attack. So. Yeah, it is a slow attack. So here we go. Basic. And shuffle deck. And shuffle you deck. You drawing that card. I do. I, I just like shuffling. All right. I mean, I'm, I'm doing it every day. <laughs> so. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Got him. Sam, puns, yes, yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. No. Uh, okay, so they do their basic attack. So it's an axe swing. And it's a medium attack of two damage. A medium, medium attack of two damage. Um, if they are enraged, it's plus one and plus one speed. Plus one damage and speed, but yeah. did not get enraged, as right. this deck will show us there. Okay. And I'll let you to do your everyday shuffling, though, okay. since you like that so much. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, so I take two damage. Two damage or medium, and then your slow attack comes in dealing him four, which is gonna okay. instantly just take him out. Yeah. Them out. You just carve through three guys with one blow. I, I'm 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 good at that. I'm just another blood echo for you. There we go. Boom. Now I'm I'm noticing that uh, the rookie's taking out all the guys here. I'm well yes, you're the one supposed to be doing all this. I've killed so many guys that <laughs> I see, okay. And I actually did trigger the special ability of your weapon, which is each time you, you kill an enemy, I can you draw, draw a card. card. And that goes back out here? Yes. Alright. Another action for so you. Rallying after attack. So uh, I can cool heal card. one for each damage you dealt. So can I use that now? Well this is you place it down on attack and the attack gains that ability. Got it, understood. So your options, you can keep moving here. You can actually pick up this item and get something cool right I there. I will do that. All right. Pick so up the item. So it's an interact action. I'll take one of your cards. Okay. So we'll do this one. When you pick up an item, you're going to... Wait a minute. Two. When I refill, does this go away? You can choose to keep that or discard it in your turn. Understood. So you pick this up. You'll get yeah. a random consumable. And these are one-time use cool items that you use on your turn. Okay. And it does whatever the effect is. The throwing knife deals one enemy within two spaces, one health. So this just comes to the side here. Comes to your side, and you choose to use it during your turn. It's gone. There you go. Cool beans. Uh, I think I'm done. All right. So you refill your hand up to three. Mm -hmm. And then any enemies that are on your tile or within one connecting tile would activate. So luckily, there's nothing nearby. You're basically not in any aggro range of anything. So I'm playing the game better than you are right now is basically what you're saying. It's a co-op game, Sam. Uh, we're we, playing well together. We are doing well together. <laughs> okay. You okay, that, that's our story. You got more vicious well, since last time I saw you. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. I'm very proud. You. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, on my turn, I'm just going to keep exploring. I'm going to dart right past these guys. All right. So I'm going to use two cards here to move four spaces. Okay. Now, they're going to follow you? They're going to follow me equal to their speed. One space? Yes. Now, noting the reason that I did um, two cards to combine that movement is I could actually stagger my movement, moving slower, to specifically kite these guys around. Right. But I'm actually just trying to escape them right now. Okay. So I'm going to move one, two, and then off into this space over here to flip another right. tile. The Ooh. Tomb of Odin. Hey, that's the that's for our uh, mission thingy that here, That is what right? we're trying to get to. So one, two, three, four, and then he is going to pursue me one. And I do okay, so we discard here. and reveal campaign card 11. All right. So where is that at? Is that in here? Yep, and they're all numbered right there. Okay. So cross over, put an item down here. All right, so there is card 11. So we've discarded it, now we reveal it. It yep. says, oh. Insight Mission, Memento of Mother. Bodies litter the graveyard. Pleasant. Among them, you notice the corpse of a Yarnum Yarnum woman. A bright red brooch around her neck. Hey, hence, clues. Taking it, you see at its center lies a bloodstone shard, an item used to fortify weapons at the workshop. It would be right to return it to the girl, but such a find is rare indeed. So you gain the red jewel brooched token, which is this little thingy right here. Boom. And if you interact on the occupied house tile with the red brooch token, you discard and reveal campaign card 12. So this replaces this, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so, well, we found her mother, sort of. Well, we found her remains, right? Yeah, which we proceed to leave in the graveyard and take this brooch, but that's fine. <laughs> All right, so the next part of this mission is getting this back to the house. Um, I still have a card left. Now, if I end my turn here, this guy's going to start pursuing me off this way. Uh -huh. But I think I want to kind of meet him partway and just go in there and start fighting him. Because we'll clear this area off over here so we can get back to the occupied house. That's what the rookie would do, yeah. The what? The rookie. The okay, the well, guy that's been right. killing everything so far. Now, something that's important to know, by the way, is those inside missions. As you see, we have two other ones that we uh -huh. can complete, and they might spiral into more. Right. During a standard game, it's very doubtful that you're going to complete all of those and actually even the majority of them. So we really do need to pick and choose which ones we're gonna do. Okay. And these will have lasting effects through the campaign. So which ones we choose to do, which ones we don't choose to do, how we resolve these things. So these two Scourge Beasts right here kind of popping up are just kind of steering us away from the clinic one, right? Uh, I don't have any problem going and killing Scourge Beasts, but okay. you know, I just, They're you're harder. not ready for those. You're not okay. ready for those. I'll, I'll take that. I'll we're take gonna that just for killing the, the civilians that are infected. You yes. Know. But I'm going to discard my last card to actually just move right back into this guy's space. And I could have picked up that item, but again, I'm going to go here. Ending my turn, I'm going to draw my three cards up, and then he is going to activate and attack me. And I was hoping to draw a strength card there. I did not. Okay. okay, you got your dodge. You're all right. Yeah. It'll be fine. Uh, so speaking of that, I am actually, because I have three health left, I'm going to choose not to attack him. I'm going to let him come at me, and I'm going to attempt to dodge the attack Very wise. out of the way. Very wise. So... He's activating. I'm choosing not to attack. We're going to flip over a card to see what he does. And Sam, I really... Eh, well, let's see what happens. Basic. Basic attack. So he's shuffling up again. There's only one of that card in there. You sh you said you're master of shuffling and you do it every day. But I'm that not card seems stacking to keep the coming deck. The top. I'm not stacking the deck, I promise. Okay. So he's doing his basic attack here. By the way, so... In this campaign, there's the Enrage special rule, mm -hmm. which is when these cards come up and they trigger Enrage, they gain extra special effects, gotcha. which we're not seeing any of because Because I'm keep... doing such a good job at shuffling the yes. deck. But so he would be hitting me for two damage. Okay. I'm going to attempt to dodge that. All right. attempt, I mean, I'm going to dodge that. So when you dodge, you can place down a card on an attack slot that matches the exact speed of their attack. Okay. If you dodge too fast, he's just going to hit you afterwards. Dodge gotcha. too slow, you're obviously not getting out of the way there. Yeah. So... It's a medium attack. I've got a dodge of a medium attack. That's what I'm going to do with my slash slot right here. Boom. I dodge out of the way. I don't take any damage. Okay. Now the dodge thing uh, says may give plus or minus one speed. The card that I chose you can to choose use, to do that. Yes. And this is the this is the card that I chose to play in the slot. I could have dodged with any of them. Yeah. Is but this one here gives me a specific ability to dodge better because it is a skill card. Okay. All right. That was it. That was my turn. The enemy's activated. Okay. It's gonna be your go. Oh, Royalty then. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm a gonna, okay, I think what I'll do here is, uh, I'm going to, 
Move one. I'll move back into where you are. Unless you think I need to go explore some more. I mean, no I see more. you're struggling nope. with that mob again, so I'll, I'll come and help you out if you need it. Sure. <laughs> we'll work as a team to take okay. this guy down. Okay, but I'm not going to actually do a lot of damage because I want you to be able to feel good about taking him out on your turn. So I'm going to I'm going to knock him down as much as I can and then hopefully you'll be able to uh I I appreciate have a little it. bit of a morale boost there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, All right, so I'm going to use I'm going to use these two cards. Okay. Um so I'm going to use this for the plus one attack or the plus one um oh no, that's a block. That's I'm a sorry. blocking one. Yep. Uh so that's if they attack me You'll be blocking a damage from that. I'll yep. be blocking a damage from them. Okay, and then I'm going to use this, and it lets me heal one for every damage mm -hmm. that I dealt. And the reason he can do that is because that weapon has a that has slot a times, has a times two slot two, on it, yeah. so he can use two cards down at once. All right, so a very powerful All right, attack. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to put that on top. I know that I'm going to be healing whatever damage I do. All right. So I'm doing two damage to them. And let's medium. see what happens. A uh, special says special. Well, that's not good. Uh, the special here says rifle shot. If damaged, the hunter must discard all cards from hand. I don't have any. Well, you're going to get staggered, but luckily you chose the best possible time to get staggered. Yeah. It is three damage, though. But it's blocking one of it, so it's only two. Yes. So I'm, I'm literally going to heal two and then lose two. Yes. So now luckily, because, again, you had taken damage before. Right. If you hadn't, then that heal would have been a little wasted because you're actually healing before his attack comes through. Got it. So the timing of that does really matter in that case. Mm -hmm. But you actually did manage to mitigate all your damage there. That's okay. good. So that's cool. And you even, again, chose the best time to get shot because you don't have any cards to lose. Right. Your so turn is going to end. They take two damage, though. You'll draw your three cards up, but then yep. he is going to attack you. All right. So you're going to choose how you respond there. Oh, I got to choose. How, well, yep. um, I'll go with. Uh, um, I want to use this and just block with the two. A wow. dodge, right? Oh, you're going to. Uh, so when you dodge, that is you're going to. You get to see their attack and then you respond and. Punch. Okay, so. So you can basically choose at this point to either counterattack him or to save and dodge out of the way. I mean, you're at three life. The only thing that could kill you is if you choose to special attack you again. I, I think I'm just going to dodge. Okay. So, again, when you dodge... Because, again, I want you to have the morale boost taken them out. You get to see their attack before you Got do it. the dodge. So, we'll flip it. Bonk. An enraged basic. Okay. So, this is going to do plus one and plus one speed. So, so I actually now, can't dodge it. It's now fast at three damage. Yeah. So, you I need just, to dodge with a fast attack. I can't. Because you don't see... The hubris conversation's coming back up. Yes, I so guess so. So you're taking three damage, Sam, and, and I'm going to die. You have only three HP. That's fine. You see, we thought we were smarter than the game. And Everything just... is fine. Everything is fine. So this all gets damn. You uh, just got killed. Discarded. You're going to lose your blood echoes. I was, I was trying to, to be helpful to you. I was, I was looking out for my you boss. Blaming me for this. Yes. Good partner. Um, so this is going to cause the hunt track to advance because you just got killed. Yeah. And that guy's still standing there going, haha, I just killed you. <laughs> And now it's the end of the round as well, so this is going to advance yet again. And yes, yeah, so you're back in the dream. You're going to reset everything for your turn, mm -hmm. and then you. And I don't have now. any blood echoes, so I can't purchase any of these. Because cards. you just lost them because you died. Everything shut now. Does this come out? Or yes, is that everything gets fully cleared okay. out here. Okay. Well. Hmm. <clears throat> Neat. Okay. Uh, how's about this? Why don't you just take two? Respawn and kill that guy so we can clear that way so I can go and deliver this news to this little girl. You're you're really just I'm making me do all the heavy lifting here, aren't you? Focus on the mission. You focus okay. on the mission. Plus, I just, I just saw those guys I'm kill you. I'm just cannon fodder. Is that, that's what you're saying. Well, death is, you know, temporary. <laughs> but more importantly, it's that we need to get back over there before we hit another respawn here and these guys, you know, get in our way. Right. All right. So I come back. With the trick here is just don't die. Five health. I'm not gonna die. Okay. How could I die? I already did that. The other issue, by the way, Sam, is that my weapon is entirely taken up here, so I, I would see. actually have to use resources to transform it. it sounds attack. like a veteran excuse, is what it sounds like. Um, all right, and I'm gonna respawn right cool. there and uh, say, "I'm gonna get you, sucker." Um. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this guy right here. Because I don't need to heal anything, so I want to save that. I'm going to do this right here. That gives me three damage. And so this flips over again. An enraged special. 
Um, ouch. I need oh, to move this. Biker. Move this. Uh, let's see. All right. Enraged special rifle shot. If damage, Hunter must discard all cards from hand. Luckily, um, it has no enraged effect on there because it's just yeah, a it rifle doesn't. shot. Okay. So that's uh, going to be three damage, but I'm going to do it three damage. And, and you there's could, that's a slow attack, so you actually could dodge that if you wanted to use up your charge swing slot <clears throat> and avoid discarding everything and having Yeah, all that I want to do that. I want to do that because I don't want to lose that card. Okay. So, so medium. Uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, Sam. We don't even need to do that because your attack is medium. You're going before he does anyway. Oh, I kill him before because, he does. And he does have the two damage on him. Got it. Okay. So, boom. He's getting killed because you're that skilled. You're getting a blood echo there. And this pathway is more importantly cleared. And you still have two actions to do anything else you want. Okay. Um, uh, I don't... I don't, w I don't want to end my movement next to this tile because then he'll activate, right? If you end your... Uh, it's a tile, so if you end here, yeah, then yes, he will activate. He'll activate. So, so I think I'll just... Uh, we actually lucked out not connecting these areas yeah. because they don't know we're here. I might go back there and and uh, say, there, I cleared the way for you, and I'll get in there and do your job. Um, and I'll go back and get that item back there. How's that? Okay. Well, there's another item actually over here in the Occupied House. We can just, oh, so you want oh, me to but, go over but there? Then the scourge but then the Scourge Beast will You're right, you're right, you're right. So, uh, who, who's the veteran here? I was testing you. Oh, okay, that was a test. It was a pop quiz, got it. All right, so uh, I'll discard that to move over there, and then I have to discard another card? Yes. All right, so I lose that anyway. But, but you got another uh, cool item. It's useful. So a consumable, uh, cold blood dew, gain one blood echo. So I just automatically use that. You can on your turn. On the turn. Okay. So it's best to save that just as you're about to go to the back to the. Got day. it. You'll draw your three cards up and then it'll yep, go yep. to me. Go All right, let's go deliver some news to a little girl. Move two spaces over here and interact on the occupied house. So this is when we get the. Uh, the Red Jeweled Brooch. We interact on the house, discard this, and reveal campaign card number 12. All right. Let's see here. That is this one. You want to read it or you want me to? I'll take this one. Go for it. Brave Hunter, you've returned. I have forgotten this. If you find my mom, give her this music box. It plays one of Daddy's favorite songs. And when Daddy forgets us, we play it so he remembers. Mom's so silly, running off about it. Wait, did you find her? Choose one to complete this mission. Oh no. Lie to the girl and keep the bloodstone shard for yourself. Discard and reveal campaign card number 13. Give her the brooch. Discard this card and reveal campaign card number 14. Well, I know what I would do. Well, what would you do, Sam? I would give the girl her mom's brooch and tell her that this is the only thing that's left. That's that a you just have a noble memory. Thing. You now have something to remember by, yes. Well, then I suppose that's the option that we will take. Okay. And I will take campaign card number 14. Campaign card 14, there you go. You, you're going to feel better about yourself. Left alone. Oh, no. So this is actually our reward card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Gain one tiny music box permanent item. And all hunters gain one hunter's resolve card. So there's a stack of cards I've hidden over there. Over here. Off to the side. Got and it. our text here. Hunter, was it really her? No, mummy, mummy, don't leave me alone. Oh gosh, that's so sad. So we've hunter's each gained resolve. a hunter's resolve, and this is a ability that we now gain okay. for the rest of the campaign. It says once per hunt during our turn, we can clear a weapon and draw two. And the flavor text: for the sake of those still human, we must put an end to this madness. That's and right. it says we gain the tiny music box permanent item as well. Where is that at? It's in that stack there as well. <laughs> One of these here. Unless I didn't put it in a sack. You may not have. I might not have. I did not, so okay. it's still sitting somewhere. But okay. anyway, it's a permanent item. It, uh, it's something that we get to use and refresh there. But now, more importantly here, Sam, this is an inside reward. Okay. This is kept with us for the rest of the campaign. That's cool. This may or may not have lasting ramifications later on. Mm -hmm. The fact that we told this little girl that you're... You know, don't worry, little girl. Your mom's dead, okay? She's really, really dead. We found the body. It's in the graveyard. She's really dead. Yeah. But don't worry. You're here by yourself. Bye. Uh, but I we mean, it's going to be all right. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. going to be all right. We're going to find your dad. Yeah. It'll be fine. So this stays with us for the rest of the campaign. Uh, later events may or may not trigger off of the fact that we have this is the choice we've made, yeah. and this is what we have done. Okay. 
Okay. We will just have to figure that it might be nothing. Okay. You know, but we don't know. And so on that, Sam, but I mean, we have technically done one of these insights. We have done an insight So mission. all we need to do is now finish the top part. Well, so that top, that top part right there is reveal everything, right? Is we reveal all the map, and that's going to give us the next part of the hunt mission. Okay. So that's going to tell us, you know, that my, it's not necessarily going to be, oh, we completed it. It's just going to tell us the next step we have to do. Got it. And we need to complete that before we reach that skull. Okay. But we're going to call it right there. Okay. To give it a little taste Sounds there. good. Yeah. No, I really appreciate it. Uh, I like the story aspect that's there. I like how you have to go through all of these, um, you know, you've got your basic idea of what you need to do, but along the way you find out the whys and the whos and the hows and all that other kind of stuff. And Sam, you know, when this game is finally released and you actually sit there and play it, I want you to remember the choice that you made here. Yeah. Even though, again, this is going to be a slight variant of what's in the final box, but I want you to remember you made this choice. Oh my goodness. Because I know how it ends. Oh no. And I'm going to send you a message and go like, hey, remember that little girl? I made she you. She remembers you. Oh no. Oh, I've created a monster, I believe. <laughs> but I did what I thought was right. And, you will, have to, you, and you will have to live with that choice. <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you, Michael. I appreciate it. Appreciate it for showing us Bloodborne, the board game. And uh, this is going to be released when? Do you have a time schedule? We are fulfilling the Kickstarter. Uh, it's estimated for May of next year because the Kickstarter just ended. Okay. And actually, you can still late pledge depending on when this video comes out. Okay. Um, and then retail will be shortly around that time or afterwards. When does late pledge end? I don't know exactly. Okay, we'll find that soon. Out. We'll figure soon that out. We'll get answer. it up beforehand. Uh, all right. Well, that is it. So May 2020 is when this is going to be fulfilled. Get in on the late pledge because I am going to try to make sure this video goes up before that ends. So hurry on over. Remember the little girl. I don't know how that's going to end, but okay. Thanks for joining us. We certainly appreciate it. We'll see you guys and gals on the flip side.